I understand you want to give up. Why is that? I never wanted to give up. I just don't want to see him suffer. You've lost faith. Have you never seen a miracle, Dr. Stewart? There won't be any miracles for Danny. Just more agony. While you try to make up for lost time. I was in prison. I was ashamed for my son to know me. Surely there are other things to try, Doctor. Since you haven't been here, I don't see how you can be the one to evaluate that. I need some time. I want to pray for my boy now. I'm so sorry. You just say the word and I can get a judge up here. You can fight this. No. No. No matter what I think of him, he's still Danny's father. Besides me, he's the only flesh and blood Danny has. And if he needs time, well, he's family. Dr. Stewart. There's something really wrong with him. I'll be home in an hour. Are you listening to me? He's not talking. You can't hear me. I mean, I think he's convulsing. Uh, br bring him to emergency. Now, just like that, huh? Just lock him the in the car. The nightmare's not going to hurt him, Matt. I'll meet you. Oh, I hate you for leaving me with this. I don't know what it is. Just let me buy Matt. Take his pressure. What the hell's going on? We're gonna find out. Now, let's just have a look here. Ooh, lousy looking infection. Has he gone septic? His blood pressure's off low. Yeah, uh, let's get an IV in. Can't you do this? You know I can't. I'm his mother. Hey, uh, look, there's nothing more for you to do here, Matt. I'm gonna take care of him. Go a minute. All right, let's push some bug juice into this boy. Thanks, Randy. He's stabilized. We're moving him to a private room right now. You're here, Lily. Oh, well, well, my son is sick. They just admitted him. Private room, no doubt. Well, he's contagious. You guys get pretty special treatment. <sighs> Look, I know it must be difficult sharing a room. Difficult? <laughs> you try spending all night with another kid, crying and puking, and the parents watching TV. Well, if it was up to me, everybody would have a private room. <sighs> would you excuse us? I, mean, I, I can't hear myself thinking there. And yesterday, when I had to make a very important business call, that nightmare of a nurse told me that patients and their families cannot use her phone. Well, they like to keep the lines open. What am I supposed to do, I asked her. Keep my baby awake talking on the phone, but she doesn't care. Nobody cares about me, about my baby. You are just a bunch of quacks. You don't even know what's wrong with her, do you? Do you? Her problem isn't medical, Mr. Blake. When she's at the hospital, she gains weight. When she goes home, she loses it. What do you think that's about? Are you saying we starve her? Is that what you're saying? <sighs> she starved for love. You bitch! Look, I'm gonna go join my family. You cause another scene, I'm gonna have you thrown out of this hospital. Come on, Gerald. She's not getting on with this. His little girl's the failure to thrive I was telling you about. I don't want to hear about it. This is our child, Amelia. Alex, remember? I was afraid for his life. Don't you think I was, too? Sometimes I feel like I'm piling up credit with God, that he's going to make everything OK for Alex, because I take care of these kids like they were my own. It doesn't work that way, Amelia. God doesn't make deals.
Penny. You too. You get well, Alex. We're getting our tree today. Who's a lucky boy? Bye, Alex. Bye. We need to talk now. No. We're checking Alex out, Myra. Frank Blake has spent the last 24 hours working himself into a full-blown tantrum. Now he's checking Sarah out. We've got to stop it. It's Christmas Eve, damn it. <clears throat> We're taking our son home. Amelia, I'm gonna be blunt. The Blakes are leaving because of your unprofessional conduct. You owe them an apology. And if they leave, I'm holding you personally responsible. You promised. Look, I know. Um, I won't be long, okay? Honestly. I'll be home before lunch. You expect us to wait patiently, right? Mommy, not fair. Mr. Blake, why don't you come to my office and we'll discuss this. We're leaving. I tried to explain things to Dr. Stewart here, the expert, but all she did was insult me. Mr. Blake, I was wrong and I apologize. For Sarah's sake, let me try to straighten this out. Please, Frank. There's nothing to straighten out. Paging Dr. Reynolds. Dr. Reynolds to the nurse's <gasps> Mrs. Blake. I know what you think, that I don't really care and that I don't love her. No, that's not true. Uh, what I said was stupid and cruel. The truth is we don't know what's wrong with Sarah. I don't know. I do love her. Geraldine! Well, then keep her here. Let her stay. I have to go. You've let your personal feelings override your professional judgment. Sarah Blake is a patient. Her parents are distraught. Well, I'm distraught, Myra. I'm a mother, and my child is sick, too. When you're in this hospital, you are a doctor, first and foremost. I want a full report on my desk before you leave. Keep it down. He's trying to sleep. You can't just take him, Matt. He's sick. Yeah. But he's not dying, so I guess I can handle it. Son of a bitch, where is he? Listen to me. My whole childhood revolved around midnight calls and broken promises, and I don't want that for Alex. It's not my job to make up for all the attention you never got. Well, that's fine. You know, I was about to be married. No, I thought I did. Oh, so you said you're going to pick somebody like Patty, who's a charming and beautiful and old-fashioned? Come on, she's just a friend. And she happens to think that Alex is someone special. Oh, and you think I don't? We never put him first. He has to go through emergency to get your undivided attention. That's a crop, Matt. You know it. If the tables were turned and you were the doctor, this wouldn't be happening. Wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't. Look, I do more than my share. Yeah, you have to be applauded and congratulated and petted every step of the way. You're a spoiled brat, Matt. You're acting like a baby. You, you can't accept that I love what I do and it's important to me because you're still not convinced that what you do counts. No! I'm not convinced that we still count, that we are important. I want to see you. I want to take him home. I tell you, Will. Go home, Amelia. Go on. I'm not going to let you keep him. I'm going to fight you every step of the way. No, you won't. You don't have the time.
temperature's way up, and his arterial line stopped working, so we had to put a new one in. Doctor, what's gonna happen? I don't know. We've scheduled a spinal tap and a lung biopsy. Either one could kill him. Or he could go on until... Until? Until you change your mind and decide he can come off the vent. to let go. But it's too late. I wanted to be his friend. I've prayed. I've asked God. Did he answer? My son has had enough. Mm-hmm. 